Hello YouTube, today we're going through my black pocket bag. So it's a large bag, i measure it. It is about six inches by about three and a half by about four and three quarters. So it is an entire pocket just to this. But it has a lot in it. It's sort of my everyday bag and my get-home bag for short trips. It has enough to keep me out for one night maximum. So in the front, we have one little container that has a good-sized piece of cotton and just has some pills in it. That's all that's in the zipper. Under that, we have all of my cordage. We have... 12 feet of paracord, we have 20 feet of jute twine, and we have 20 feet of just a cotton twine. And then we have 10 pretty good size little zip ties. That's all that's in there. And then the big pocket, just one massively full pocket. And it has my eating utensils. It has a pen. My little monocular. It has my one of my little ferro rods in it. It's a little spray bottle of hand sanitizer. pack of band-aids two little candles a little Swiss Tech tool a little Gerber a little compact Gerber another little chapstick A full-size lighter. My backup flashlight, which is 35 lumens, uses one AAA, also a little streamlight. My little Spyderco ladybug, which I measured this, and it is four and three-quarter inches overall, and it has a two-inch blade on it which in centimeters is 12 centimeters overall, and it has a 5 centimeter blade on it. And there should be an extra battery, but I seem to have used that. Then I also have, in the back little pocket, I have an extra of a card sharp. I have an 18 by 20 inch piece of foil. I have a two pack of hand warmers, because it's still cold here. I have a little notebook. And I have a garbage bag. That's everything in this bag. And what I'm also going to do, we're going to go through my Altoids tin. Keep that separate. So there's a rubber band. This is just a rubber band, it doesn't need it to stay closed. And then in here we have little pieces of cotton, a couple of those just to keep everything quiet. A bunch of those. That's about two cotton balls worth. Then we have another streamlight, a little streamlight. I don't know what this one is. The nano light, little guy. Then we have, takes about half the space in here. We have another full size lighter. It's also green. Then I have some floss, which is my favorite thing to use to stitch stuff up, which also has more cotton in the middle. And then we have a little bit bigger of a button compass, not a real small one, pretty good size. 
Then we have a full size set of tweezers. I hate little tweezers. Then we have a Gerber little knife, which I can never remember what it's called. It's a little tiny guy. This is the bigger of the two. They make a little one that's a little bit smaller. Then I have a striker for my matches. I have four, four, four matches. Another piece of foil. This one's 18 by 18 inches. I have a couple of sealed straws. I have some eye drops. Some anti itch. And some antibacterial. Then we have my large needle. We have several split shots for fishing, six or eight of them. Then we have some more bandages, three. Bandages work really great in, for a pair of gloves. Put them on your hands. If you're hauling something, you won't let the rope dig in. And they also keep my bottom shiny so I can use it as a mirror, keep things from scratching it. And then in here, taped up, we have, you'll never be able to see this one, but we've got a little needle, just a normal sewing needle, oh there it is, underneath the lip here, and then we have a fish hook on each side, oh, see those, and then we have four more black zip ties taped to the back, and then it's got clear Gorilla Tape all the way around, and it keeps the water out pretty good, they're not completely waterproof, but good enough if you drop it or in the rain. So that's it for this time. I will see you guys next time, and the next video will be my bag that I keep in the car all the time.